Welcome to the training Test an Application Using the SP API Sandbox. This module is designed for developers with fully integrated Selling Partner API or SP API applications. In what follows, we explain how developers can use the SP API Sandbox to make test calls and troubleshoot common issues. If, before watching this module, you'd like more information about any part of the process for integrating an application with SP API, refer to the modules in our Integrate with SP API series. Let's start with an overview of the SP API Sandbox. This environment allows developers to test fully integrated applications without affecting production data or triggering real-world events. Calls made to the Sandbox are identical to production calls, but are directed to SP API Sandbox endpoints instead of the production endpoints used for real-life calls. The Sandbox endpoints for North America, Europe, and Far East are the same as their production counterparts, but have Sandbox before the usual URL. Like many mocking frameworks, the SP API Sandbox uses pattern matching to exchange specified parameters for a static mocked response. You can use the Sandbox to test grantless and non-grantless calls, as well as restricted and non-restricted operations. All the normal requirements for each type of call remain in place and are required in order to receive a mocked response. If you'd like more information about the requirements for making grantless or non-grantless calls, refer to the relevant Step 4 module in our Integrate with SP API series. Step 4a, connect to SP API using a generated Java SDK, or Step 4b, connect to SP API manually. If you'd like more information about calling restricted operations, refer to our module, Call Restricted Operations Using Tokens API. Before you call the SP API Sandbox, it's important to note that it's designed for testing the functionality of an application. It isn't designed for scalability testing. Calls to Sandbox endpoints are subject to a throttling limit of five requests per second and 15 per burst. When you're ready to make a Sandbox call, you'll follow two basic steps. First, you'll check the SP API JSON file for any necessary request parameters. Then, you'll call the Sandbox to receive a response that matches the payload object. Start by locating the list of SP API models on GitHub, which is accessible from the Selling Partner API documentation page. Locate and open the folder for the API you want to make a Sandbox call to, then click the relevant Swagger Model JSON file to display the code. Next, search the code for X Amazon SPDS Sandbox Behaviors. If you locate one or more, they'll contain request and response examples. You're now ready to make your Sandbox call. Keep in mind that if the request example from the JSON file contains one or more parameters, you must include them in your call to match the mocked response. Once all your required parameters are included, direct your call to the relevant SP API Sandbox endpoint. You'll receive a response that matches the payload object contained in the X Amazon SPDS Sandbox Behaviors object of the JSON file. Review this mocked response to confirm that your application is sending requests and receiving responses accurately. This concludes our training on the SP API Sandbox. If you'd like to learn more, search for the Selling Partner API Developer Guide on GitHub and select the section, The Selling Partner API Sandbox from the Table of Contents. We also recommend reviewing the page, Usage Plans and Rate Limits in the Selling Partner API. Thanks for watching.